the recognized worldwide leader in sports. Wrestling Challenge comes to you this week from Rochester War Memorial in Rochester, New York. Both photography and photocopying were invented here in Rochester, and this fine city is the headquarters for Eastman Kodak. As well, folks, Rochester, New York, indeed, is the hometown of Susan B. Anthony. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wrestling Challenge. I'm Gorilla Monsoon, along with Bobby the Brain Heenan, set the host. The host. Set to bring you all this action, so settle back in your favorite chair and batten down the hatches, because here we come. As usual, we've got a blockbuster show lined up for you here on Wrestling Challenge. The Superfly will be in action. In tag team competition, the U.S. Express will go up against the Shadows. The Ravishing One will be here. And we'll get our first look at a newcomer to the World Wrestling Federation, Leaping Lanny Poffo. Right now, let's go up to the ring for our first bout. <laughs> Dick Murdoch, who will be at WrestleFest on the night after Christmas, December 26th, in the Superdome in New Orleans, where he will go up against the legendary Mr. Wrestling number two. Legendary? Who says so? Dick Murdoch is here competing in the World Wrestling Federation, week in and week out. It'll be a walk in the park in the Superdome. Well, I think you're being highly disingenuous. You know exactly who Mr. Wrestling 2 is and what his credentials are. I know about Dick Murdoch's credentials, and they are very impressive. He's a former World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champion, you know. Oh, you don't have to tell me. A very rugged individual is Captain Redneck, and it should be a heck of a match in the Superdome. This is a heck of a match right here. Pez Whatley isn't chopped liver. Pez Whatley, a wily veteran. Yeah, but he's going to look like chopped liver by the end of this match. Will you stop?
And Pez Whatley just about escaping through the back door. now hammering on Murdoch. Murdoch knows what he's doing in that ring. Just when you think you've got him, he pulls something out of nowhere. Drop kick by Watley. And this may do it. No, didn't even get a one count. That's how tough Dick Murdoch is. Oh, but there's that elbow. One, two. No, again, Murdoch gets the shoulder up. And there's that brain buster. Nighty night. Looks ready to take on Mr. Wrestling 2 in the Superdome and fans this past Saturday night at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. World Wrestling Federation champion Hulk Hogan defended his title against the Big One Man Gang. After a grueling battle, little was settled as in the end, both men were counted out of the ring. Greg and George in the dressing room area along with the Slickster and the One Man Gang. What a tremendous accounting by the One Man Gang. Got to hand it to you, not many have held Hulk Hogan to a draw. The double count out of that is exactly well, let me what the tell one you man something, gang brother. Let's get to set the record straight right now. I told you and I told all the people that Hulk Hogan could not defeat the one man gang and he didn't. Now I'm a little disappointed because the one man gang doesn't have the crown around his waist. So therefore I demand a rematch. And I know if Hulk Hogan's listening, he wants that rematch because he's been a great champion and he wants to know himself who's the better man. And you believe me next time, Hogan. It won't be a count out. It won't be a draw. 
The big man's going to put you down, brother. Right, big man? Hey, man, out in that ring, I could feel that I was stronger than you, Hogan. I know I'm better than you. I took every shot you had to give me, and I was still standing. So if you're mad enough, you give me a rematch. I don't want no draw. I'm not settled with it. I know I'm better than you, Hogan, and I can prove it. So just put your name on the dotted line, boy. <laughs> All right, the one-man gang yeah. with a very impressive outing tonight, holding Hulk Hogan to a draw in a double countout. This contest is scheduled for one-man one gang should be the champion. Entering the ring from North Bend, Indiana. Oh, and how do you figure that? Pounds, Brian Costello. Hogan didn't beat him, and he didn't beat the Hulkster. If you want to be champion, you have to either pin the champion or make him submit. You know that as well as anyone, Brain. Yeah, but I bet Hogan ducks the rematch. He most certainly will not. The Hulkster has never backed down from any challenge. Yeah, well, I have a feeling that's going to change soon. His opponent from Downers Grove, Illinois, at 252 pounds, leaping Lenny Puffo. And take a look at this youngster, a newcomer on the scene here in the World Wrestling Federation, leaping Lenny Puffo. And a fast start by this youngster. Yeah, but there's the experience of Costello. You know, guys like Costello, they're veterans. They've been around for a while in the World Wrestling Federation. They're fighters. They're scratching and clawing for everything they can get, trying to work their way up. They see a kid like this Poffo come in, and they're determined to stop him making a name for himself at their expense. Well, Leaping Lanny almost did make a name for himself right there, just milliseconds away from the three count. And look at the spinning kick. Is that impressive? You bet. And Leaping Lanny showing he could throw hands with the best of them. Totally illegal. And now leaping Lanny to the top rope. That should do. No, Costello just got the shoulder. I up. tell you what, give Costello credit. He is one tough man. What a showing here from the youngster leaping Lanny Poffo. A debut to remember for Leaping Lanny. 
fans in New Orleans and the Louisiana area, the World Wrestling Federation has a Christmas present for you. Thursday night, December 26th, the World Wrestling Federation is coming to the Superdome. And in the main event, a huge tag team encounter as World Wrestling Federation champion Hulk Hogan teams with the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant, to go up against the team of Rowdy Roddy Piper and Cowboy Bob Orton. You know, brother, if I could choose one gift this Christmas, if Santa Claus was to grant me one wish, it would be to get my hands on Roddy Piper and that ace bodyguard of his at the same time. That would be enough, man. That would be all I could ever hope for. But when I get to do it, teaming with my good friend and mentor, the man I look up to more than anyone in the whole wide world, the man who inspires me, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Well, that's just a dream come true, brother. And as for you, one man gang and slick, I hear you begging for another title shot. Believe me, brother, I didn't get enough of you in Philly. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm ready for round two, anytime, any place. The junkyard dog will meet the natural Butch Reed. And for one night only, the legendary Mr. Wrestling 2 will compete in a World Wrestling Federation ring as he goes up against Dick Murdoch. And talk about bad blood, there's plenty of it in this encounter. Hacksaw Jim Duggan to take on the big Russian, Nikolai Volkov. I am a proud American, and I certainly share that pride with this individual. He's from Glen Falls, New York. I'd like to bring in at this time Hacksaw... Don't be sneaking in on me. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Come on in if you would, please. I'm just looking around, Gene. Gotta keep my eye open. No telling where. Hey, well, I thought that was a Russian over there. No telling where to show up. So I always keep my two-by-four right here at hand. You know, the one thing that I've noticed, you become really disenchanted when you hear Nikolai Volkov spew forth with the Russian nap. You can't stand it, Gene. I don't like it. You, not only can he sing worth it, but he's not standing, he is, excuse me, he is standing on USA soil. He is standing in one of our fine buildings throughout the country. He is holding up that Russian flag, and he is bellering out some kind of thing, putting over, putting over how good Russia's doing. You know, he also has a sidekick by the name of the Iron Sheik. I know you're not too fond of him either, Hacksaw. He's another guy who's over here smiling, twisting his mustache, patting his belly, showing his muscles, and sticking money, hard-earned, earned USA bucks in his back pocket over here waving that Iranian flag. And, baby, everybody knows about the days that the Americans were held hostage over there, but, folks... How many of us have forgotten the guys that gave their lives when they pulled off that rescue that got kind of messed up? We forgot about them. Well, Hacksaw Jim Duggan hasn't forgotten. And Sheik, baby, I'm going to keep reminding you every time I see a tough guy. All right, I thank you very much, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Uh -oh! Has got his eyes on a couple of individuals here in the World Wrestling Federation, the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov. What a pair they are. In a tag team encounter, the U.S. Express to meet demolition. That's WrestleFest coming to the Superdome in New Orleans the night after Christmas. For the Event Center, I'm Sean Mooney. This contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from San Antonio, Texas, weighing 240 pounds, Omar Esla.
It pains me to say it, but this ravishing Rick Rude is proving to be quite a find for the brain. When you throw the Islanders into the mix, the Heenan family is looking very strong indeed. Of course, in my opinion, Rude needs to spend less time admiring himself and more time focusing on his opponent. If he wants to get in the hunt for some gold here in the World Wrestling Federation, he won't get away with that kind of showboating against some of the top superstars here. And look at that again with the hot dogging. You can't allow a veteran like Omar Atlas a chance to recover. And there's a pile driver. We may have an upset here. And look at that weasel, always there when his man needs him most. I think Rude will now realize he can't be showing off. He needs to take it to Atlas and put him away as soon as possible. And there it is, the Rude Awakening. Coming to pay-per-view next month. Stay tuned in the coming weeks for more information on that extravaganza. This contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Jim Merkel. And his opponent from the Listen to the ovation from the Superfly. Oh, no. Not again. What do you mean, not again? After last week? This is payback. Well-deserved payback. Last week was payback. This man has tormented Snuka for months, and here he is again. Snuka should have left well enough alone. Mr. Wonderful is not a man to mess with. Oh, he'll get his. I can guarantee he'll get his, folks. We'll be right back. Well, folks, obviously we couldn't have the Jimmy Snuka Jim Merkel match. The Superfly is being tended to by medical professionals following that heinous attack by Mr. Wonderful. 
Oh, you are such a hypocrite. Snuka did the exact same thing last week. Jimmy Snuka finally snapped after months and months of being back jumped and brutalized by the likes of Paul Orndorff and Roddy Piper. Rotunda, one of the premier tag teams in the World Wrestling Federation, no question about it. Former World Wrestling Federation tag team champions, and boy, would they love to get those titles back. Yeah, we'll get in line, dummies. The Islanders are the next champs. Oh, is that so? And how do Big John Studd and King Kong Bundy feel about that? It may well be Studd and Bundy. The point is, those titles are coming to the family. It's just a matter of time. And the U.S. Express have a date with demolition in the Superdome in New Orleans on December 26th. These shadows are two rugged individuals. Yeah, and I know who they are. Oh, really? Who? Luthez and Strangler Lewis. Will you be serious? Okay, okay, I'm kidding, but I do know who they are, though. Who? Shadow number one and shadow number two. Boy, one of these days, I tell you. And Mike Rotunda with a camel clutch. by Barry Wyndham. And that'll do it. Express victorious.
That'll do it for us this week on Wrestling Challenge. For Bobby the Brain Heenan, I'm Gorilla Monsoon thanking you for joining us, and we'll see you next week.